Today I share how a calm business insight about simplicity enabled me to take a 500 page document and simplify it to just 30 pages. This specification was used to tell suppliers what kit to build for the repair and maintenance of a 110 million pounds fighter aircraft. This modern aircraft needed to meet a technologically advanced enemy in combat, most likely in greater numbers anywhere in the world to fight and win. The visible problem was clear. The 500 page document with 100 supporting documents had been brought together as a first draft and contained all the knowledge, experience and information from building maintenance equipment for previous aircraft into one place. It was the master document supporting detailed descriptions of each piece of maintenance kit needed. The challenge was that the draft document didn't tell a simple, clear story and it was difficult to know if it contained all the right elements. Using the principles of business calm, I discovered that this document was about just three things. The environment, transporting the kit, and the human factors. Working through the 500-page document creating simplicity and clarity then proved to be straightforward. However, I found a vital gap. A simple clear story about the environment for the repair and maintenance equipment for this aircraft was needed. So I did the research and wrote papers about the operating environment so that suppliers would understand what was being asked for and why. They could then make equipment that would work when and where it was needed. I then distilled the document to 100 pages plus three supporting documents and put in place questions for engineers to answer about where the equipment would be used, which simplified it to just 30 pages. Many parts of this specification were used by engineers building the aircraft itself, the hallmark of a calm business insight. I'm walking across an airfield, going past the aircraft hangars where the fighter aircraft are built. It's wet, windy and blustery, and I love it. I'm excited to be working on the latest combat aircraft. Firstly, I'm loving the wild weather. OK, so maybe I've wimped out a bit. I normally cycle, but today I've driven. I still get to walk along the side of the airfield, see the aircraft there, and am fascinated by what makes them work. Well, that's my job, making the aircraft work. This one is still on the drawing board. We're creating a new aircraft from scratch, bringing our knowledge, learning and experience to create the new. Many talented engineers cooperating to design and build a world-class fighter aircraft, bristling with the latest technology to meet the modern need. Truly exciting. I'm working on the repair and maintenance equipment. When the aircraft is on the ground, it needs to be rapidly serviced, refueled, rearmed, electrical services and checks, all the things needed for a rapid, reliable turnaround, sometimes in battle conditions. Many parts of the aircraft might need servicing or repair, much like your motor car, which needs normal servicing and repairs if in an accident. The servicing and repair equipment needs to travel with the aircraft to where it is needed and work, whatever the situation. Some equipment stays back at base or might be moved closer to where the aircraft is fighting and be used in a workshop or even an office, wherever they can find. So I've been asked to look at the master specification just a gentle, understated request. All the engineers in the group, a talented and experienced group of people who live and breathe creating this fighter aircraft, have contributed to creating this first draft of this master specification. The approach has been to bring together all the knowledge, experience and information from building previous aircraft into one place. Let me explain. A specification tells the person making something for the aircraft what is needed. For example, for a motor car, it might be to transport a family of four on all their daily journeys and holidays, or for an off-road vehicle to work across difficult countryside, carrying or towing a load, a performance supercar to give blistering acceleration, a racetrack experience and to look breathtaking. You get the idea. For a fighter aircraft, it is about meeting a technologically advanced enemy in combat, likely in greater numbers anywhere in the world, to fight and win. We need to understand what that means for this fighter aircraft and write it down so that people know what the kit needs to do, where it needs to work and what they need to do to make it. Back to the car example when it needs refuelling. Petrol or diesel are different fuels, 
different again if using electricity, and the engine in the car is different for each fuel. Putting the wrong fuel in gives problems, as I've found when making the mistake of putting petrol into a diesel car. I'm excited to see the document that all these skilled and experienced people have put together. It's a very early draft must specification. All the ideas, thoughts and supporting documents have been brought together into one place. The document I'm given is 500 pages long and lists 100 other documents that might be needed. This is going to be some read. That's my job and I'm looking forward to it. So I get stuck in. Several cups of tea later I come up for air. I'm confused. I'm confused that I can't follow the story that the document is telling. Not surprising given that it's a collection of thoughts, ideas, wish lists, things that might be important and possibilities. I talk to my client, who tells me that this is why I've been given it. The gentle, understated, take a look, turns out to be a way of finding out what I make of it, and see if I see a way forward, to make it simple and clear. The visible challenge, the blockage, is that this is a complex document for a complex aeroplane, with lots of different bits coming together. It's long, and it refers to lots of other documents. Maybe it needs to be that way. Maybe that's what's needed to build a modern technologically advanced fighter aircraft. I'm looking for an insight, a calm business insight that will make a difference. I'm looking for a moment of business calm. The good news is that I'm stressed. Being stressed tells me that something is not right. I'm not calm about this. Using the principles of business calm, I find the insight that this is not just about creating simplicity, but creating clarity about what simplicity means here. Using the principles of business calm, I find the insight that this is not just about creating simplicity, but creating clarity about what simplicity means here. But what does simple mean here? The next layer of insight comes to me that here simplicity is about where the kit is being used and what it is used for. Let me explain. The ground equipment will be used across the globe to service, rearm and repair the aircraft in normal and battle conditions. It needs to work when it is needed, every time. So using the principles of business calm, I have an insight, a realisation, that for this master specification, simplicity means just three things what the weather will be like, how we get the kit there and back, and what the human factors are, people need to use it. Just these three things. And to tell the story in a simple way, that means that it can be easily understood by the person building the piece of kit. What the equipment actually does, different in each case, will be described by the engineer. Now I have an idea what story I need to tell, what the problem is that I'm solving. I turn my attention back to the 500 pages and 100 supporting documents. I can look at each page, paragraph and sentence to see if it contributes to the story or if it identifies a different storyline that is important. My work confirms that the three elements are correct. The weather, if outside, or conditions if inside. Transporting the kit. And the people factors such as noise, clothing people wear, health and safety. We want our people to be safe. And I find a gap. We need a clear, simple story about the weather, the environment. So it's a bit of desk research. The UK Meteorological Office publishes all the data about the environment worldwide. I get the relevant information and read it. And again, work out what is important. And have another insight. Our suppliers need to know this story so that they can understand not just what we are asking, but why. Our customers too will be keen to know that we're getting it right. So I write papers and present them to our suppliers and customers, sharing what I have found, learning from one another. Now it becomes straightforward to work through the document of 500 pages and 100 specifications, simplifying, streamlining, clarifying, turning the objective of making it clear and simple into reality. I simplify the whole document down to 100 pages and three supporting documents. And finding another moment of calm, realise that it can be still simpler. If a piece of equipment is used inside or outside, the engineer will know. And we can find out by simply asking. 
so I set up a series of questions about how and where the equipment supporting the aircraft will be used, and when answered, the document, the Ground Equipment Master Specification, for this fighter aircraft is just 30 pages. Now the document tells a simple, clear story. Business calm achieved.